Okay, so these are the symbols. So there's 12 of them. Each deck has two. Each wave has six factions. And so um, each wave will have all 12 of the symbols in a different combination. Um, so it's it's probably, it's, it's easier just to like look at factions so you have practical examples. So let's just do the master set. Um, we have resolve or control is about just like controlling some aspect of the game, like limiting your opponent's options. So that's manifested in different ways for all the factions that have it to Kulu. Um, it, oftentimes it like manifests as part of its other symbol as well, which is wind, some movement. So Takulu is good at controlling movement. Wind is just about abilities that are strong movement potential. <laughs> uh, maybe one of the simplest. Um, uh, primal or what's the other name for it? They all have two names for some reason. Um, or instinct. What? I swear it was called primal. Is it really called instinct or daring? Whatever. I'm getting primal from so anyway. Primal is about like aggression and risk taking. So like high risk, high reward, tundra fighters get in there, roll a dice on a special. It's crazy. Um cunning is about tricky movement, so that's like slip by, stuff that you're just being sneaky and whatnot. Um Fallen Kingdom, uh fire is direct damage and spontaneity, so like summoning and sp summoning in unexpected places um dark is about sacrifice so you destroy your own things to do good things okay that's wave two so we will skip her um logic is about structures and upgrades uh, yeah i think that's it <laughs> water is just about big stuff <laughs> like strong about strength um so like might, so like high health units mostly. Um, growth uh, is about um, getting stronger. So lots of like boosts, like getting boosts over time. Harmony is about synergy between units. Um, and and that's it. Those are all the symbols. <laughs> uh, nope, we need Sarah. <laughs> uh, divine is about protection. So protecting your units. And Sun is about everything to do outside of the battlefield. So anything that's not on the battlefield, that's where Sun is. So your hand, your deck, your discard pile, events. So stuff like Shadow Elves of like, um, of like pulling units back to your hand, Eternal Council, keep like perpetuating events, all of that stuff. And so like, and so you can really see how like each deck is thematically, the symbols, if anything, even for base decks, the symbols are just there to like create the theme. Like Shadow Elves, oh, shadows, light and dark. <laughs> you like damage your own things, like sacrifice in order to like have sun abilities, which is return to shadow, like pulling units back to your hand, which is also super thematic because like there's shadows and whatnot. Um, and I don't know, just other things. Cool doc is growth through sacrifice. <laughs> Destroy your own units for growth. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, you can basically do it for any of these. Ava is super powerful movement abilities. Lots of synergy between units. Makes a ton of sense. Lots of just synergy and like, um, like sort of flock mechanics. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just like picking random factions here. Um, Muglog is growth and then strength through growth, like just strong high health units as manifested by champions. Um, let's see, uh, do I want another? Yeah, a, a, a eternal council, uh, control, control often manifests itself in the other symbol. So we're controlling the sun symbol. So we're controlling the event space. We're limiting our opponent's options for events. We're limiting their magic with mind knights. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we can perpetuate our own events and stuff. Um, and you can just you can just do this with all these decks. Obsidian Dwarves is uh, risky risk taking and getting in there and exploding with fire direct damage and also like demons like summoning in um, spontaneous places. Uh, Crimson Order is protect. Okay, this one yeah, pr pr protecting Damar. I get like Damar protects himself. Oh no, this is this one's interesting. Yeah, so sacrifice sacrificing your grunts 
in order to protect the elite. <laughs> so Damar, the elite are your champions and your warriors, like thematically. Those are like Damar's like inner circle. And then your grunts are everything else, like the Doom Cultists and the Devout Cultists, which you're happy to sacrifice and kill in order to protect yourself, to heal yourself. You can transfuse uh, to protect your to protect your high health units. Um, uh, yeah, so you, I mean, you can sort of just do that with any of them. You can see how the two symbols thematically create the faction and like what it's about, which is just like super cool <laughs> in Summoner Wars that we have that. Some symbol, I mean, so some decks are obviously like fit their symbols a little bit more than others, but honestly, like not like every deck that we have seems is very strong thematically. Why they are those two symbols? There's certain things where you're like, oh well, that deck seems to have aspects of a third symbol or something, and it's like. And, and, and yeah, so, I mean, that's probably the closest we get to, like, mismatching symbols. Um, but, like, I really, like, for instance, Sand Goblins are, like, very much logic, very much upgrades, very much air of, like, powerful movement abilities. Got a lot of those with Flight and Biters. But they also do feel kind of cunning. They feel kind of tricksy with their movement. But, I mean, hey, that's, uh, like, that sort of feel thing. It's not, like, like the movement is pretty fair. I mean, but Wrench Rat is kind of tricksy, but it's also upgrade. I don't know. I, 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 I stand by pretty much all the decks and the symbols we have as working pretty well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, are they? Oh, they're not. Wow. I've been, like, rushing through this conversation because I've been, like, oh, I'm sure I have a turn waiting for me. Um. <laughs> Makes much more sense now. Yeah, I mean, you, you, sort, of, you sort of see it. I mean, this Plaid Hat article... I don't think it even really explains what they mean. <laughs> All right. Well, they didn't take their turn, so we have time. So you know what? <laughs> let's just let's just uh let's just finish it. We can go through like the rest of the factions in twenty seconds. Uh, Maldaria is about protection, so protecting herself and then doing a bunch of direct damage with fire it makes sense. Um, Tundra Orcs is about water might. Strong big units, uh, like like obviously your smashers, big high health, and then also primal. So being aggressive, getting in there, taking risks. And for glory is just like super primal event. Makes sense. Fighters doing stuff when you roll specials. Um, did avians? Did all of these cloaks? Is about um, technology and upgrades. Um, yeah, so like tech. Yeah, so upgrades, but then also. Um, tricky movement so you're out of so you're out of shadows and whatnot um i guess smoke bomb would be that as well i wonder what are the what are the tech units yeah like gunner i mean like there's definitely something slightly more than like because because the the tech symbol is called logic so it's something about like versatility and to like I don't know, like procedure, like see sort of like your RAM shift, like this is the a, a, a set thing that you do. But I don't know, it's 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 <laughs> I the, I don't really I don't really know what that other aspect of logic is. It's easier just to think about upgrades and structures for logic. Um, uh, I did this, did this, did this. Um, Machinus has mech arm and leg. You nailed it. <laughs> It fits. Uh, Celeste, Synergy, it makes sense. Harmony, our units, like, uh, they do good things with each other. Coordinate, coordinate when we're adjacent, we're comboing. Spirit, Spirit Voyagers combo out from other units. And um, Cunning, so sneaky movement. Your slip buys, your Baldos, your Rogues hitting, uh, your Dancers, like, jumping in, stealing spots. Makes sense. Um, High Elves uh, control protection. They control how much your opponents are protected as well with auras. Um, they can sort of limit your opponent's options to be controlled. They can give your opponent, yeah, like like more, more tools. You're, 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 con you're controlling, controlling your opponent's options and also very good at protection. Maybe like the best protection. <laughs> Protection deck we have, like Arbiters of Peace are just so strong. Um or like the yeah, the, the most protecty deck. Uh Vargath, uh risk taking and harmony. So yeah, it makes sense. Commander, we're just like buffing all our units, super harmony thing. And then um uh primal is like a rhyming ramming advance. I, I guess this is like 
there's a few primal decks that like feels like it's not like slightly less primal theme well not really i mean like because because varketh you really don't need to play them super aggressive but ramming advance is super primal all three of these events are super primal battle leader is super primal because you just have to expose your summoner martial forces is primal because like it still involves your summoner um let's see let me see if i can predict uh which are which okay slingers are going to be harmony um Callers are going to be Harmony, and the other two are going to be Primal. Yep, and like pushing opponent units, that can be really scary. You can assassinate summoners with that. Uh, Grokes are um, Resolve and Growth, so you grow in order to control things. This is interesting because a lot of times you it's you control a certain aspect of the field, uh, like of like for Takulu, mo like air movement for all factions. Um, for Hecatea, it's growth, so it's, it wouldn't really make sense to control your opponent's growth, like, because they might not really grow. So instead, it's growth to control everything. <laughs> so you, you you control you control everything. You can, you can control your opponent's movement, their attacks. Um, you can control your own. You can make yourself powerful, controlling your own attacks and stuff. Um, control with wardens having protect. Um, and everything grows, obviously, with boosts and whatnot. Um, and the Forged is tech and fire. Forged is honestly one of the most, like, the strongest thematic pairings. Just with this ability alone, Master Builder, Diagonal Structures, okay. Super structure-heavy deck, absolutely logic. Forged and Flames, every time you build a structure, add one damage. Boom, right there. Tons of damage. Um, <laughs> and... Yeah, so da damage and building. It, uh, it's great. And then all your all your units are structures. They damage themselves. Even like it's this is a super logic and fire deck. It's so so thematic there. Um, 